This is not Superman. You don't seem to understand. Earth isn't yours to conquer. Neither is this. Just stay the fuck back or I'll laser you, goddammit! I'll laser every fucking one of you! Or this. <laughs> Not even this. Many of you who are familiar with me or this channel might know that I am a bit of a fan of Batman. He's probably my favorite superhero apart from Nightwing, but old Dick Grayson doesn't really get that much love in the mainstream media. So in many videos, I find myself talking about the Dark Knight. And many people on this platform often talk about how Batman is misrepresented in mainstream media. And while I definitely agree with that, Bruce Wayne has still had some good representation as well. Batman the Animated Series, the Justice League show, and JLU are all some very good depictions of versions of Batman. And the Arkham games are some of the best representation we've ever gotten for this character. Sure, when you see Batman using a gun to fucking murder people, maybe the writer doesn't really know what they're talking about. But that doesn't change the fact that Batman has still gotten some really good representation over the years. But for one of my other favorite superheroes, Superman, that really has never been the case. It seems to me that general audiences don't really click with Superman as a character unless the version that we're watching is an evil version of this character. Homelander and Omni-Man are essentially a character study of Superman if he was a villain. But the problem is that aside from the powers, Superman is nothing like these guys at all. I'm going to show you two scenes from The Boys and Invincible. These are some of the most popular scenes from their respective shows, so even if you're not totally familiar with these shows, you'll probably have seen them before. I don't make mistakes. I'm not just like the rest of you. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. Not some weak need fucking crybaby that goes around fucking apologizing all the time? So, let's start with Homelander, since obviously Homelander is a much more direct comparison with Superman. Homelander has all the same powers as Superman, but nothing that makes him who he is. Looking at the scene of Homelander and Maeve in the plane, this is obviously taking a stab at the plane scene from Superman Returns. You gotta go out there, lift the plane up. Lift the plane? How? There's nothing to stand on, it's fucking air. I Maybe that's true, maybe in real life this wouldn't work, but I think this shows a very key difference between this monster and Superman. Clark would try everything, he would do whatever it takes, he would give his own life before he would let a single soul on this plane die. Homelander is a god, he views humanity as beneath him, and the few instances that he does do good, he does it for the wrong reasons. Homelander wants to be loved, to be worshipped as a god. He mentions multiple times throughout the show that he's given up his secret identity. He doesn't even go by John, he's just Homelander. He gives bad people superpowers so he can give himself a platform to be worshipped not only in America, but by the whole world. And anybody who gets in the way? Well... Now before I go any further, let's take a look at Omni-Man. I will burn this planet down before I spend another minute living among these animals. Now, much like Homelander, Omni-Man views humanity as beneath him, but Omni-Man doesn't care if humanity worships him or not. There's a reason Omni-Man is named that. Early in the season, we see him destroy an entire planet in an afternoon. He solos what's equivalent to the Justice League in a four minute fight. At the end of Invincible, we get a hint at Omni-Man's humanity, but at the cost of thousands of lives and nearly marks. I think Omni-Man loves his son, but he seems to despise humanity. These two characters are gods, and they act like it. They don't care about anyone save for a few exceptions. Homelander cares about his son, and he cares about his fame. Omni-Man cares about Mark and the Viltrumites. And there's the problem. Oftentimes, when people talk about Superman or movies depict Superman, they focus too much on the super and not enough about the man. People forget that before Superman was Superman, he was Clark Kent. He was a kid who loved his mom and his dad, who went to prom, was scared of public speaking, and got his heart broken. People like to make fun of the fact that no one recognized Superman when he puts on the glasses. But I think that's the point. People like Lex Luthor and even Lois Lane would never even consider that farm boy Clark Kent could be the all-powerful Superman. I mean, really, if this was real life, would you really think that this clumsy, goofy brick of a man could be Superman? In All-Star Superman, Lois Lane literally tries to kill Superman because she thinks there's no way he could be Clark Kent and it's some kind of trick. Clark is not this perfect being. Clark Kent is not a god. He's a country boy who loves his parents and his dog. Which is why I really hate the Jesus imagery we get in the more modern day Superman films. 
I think DC doesn't know what to do with Superman because they don't understand Clark Kent. I know when most people talk about this character, they bring up All-Star Superman, but there's a very good reason for that. It's not my favorite Superman comic ever, but it demonstrates a lot of the points I'm trying to get across in this video. When faced with his own mortality, Superman does everything he can to keep the world safe when he's gone. Because that always has been and always will be his goal, to save people, because that's how he was raised. I think an underrated element when looking at Superman's humanity is his relationship with Batman. Yeah, what a surprise, I found a way to talk about Batman in my video about Superman. But I think it works. Most of the time when we talk about these two characters, it's who would win in a fight. Hell, they made a whole movie about it. But most people ignore the fact that these guys are like best friends 99% of the time. In the Justice League show, in the pilot, when Superman is hurt, instead of going after the bad guys, Bruce chooses to save Superman instead. And one of my favorite moments between these two characters doesn't actually involve Batman at all. In Final Crisis, Batman died killing Darkseid in the comics, and eventually Nightwing took up the mantle of Batman. Basically, Dick believed that Bruce Wayne could die, but Batman would have to live on. Superman hears that Scarecrow has been stopped by Batman a little while after, and he goes to Gotham to find Dick wearing the Batsuit, and Superman loses his fucking mind. He says what he's doing is disgusting, and essentially he's wearing Batman's skin, and we get this panel. This is terrifying. If you don't know, Nightwing actually got his name from a hero on Krypton, so in his own right, Nightwing is really close to Superman. But when Clark sees him wearing his dead best friend's suit, he loses it. Batman and Superman are like opposites. Batman has said before that Clark is more human than he is. Batman has his pure willpower to achieve his goal. He won't let anything get in his way. Many times, Batman will take it too far. Let the mission come before anything and everyone else. And Superman is there to be the voice of reason. You still try to fight. That man won't quit as long as he can still draw a breath. For a moment, I want to take a look at Comfort and Joy, an episode from the Justice League animated series. This episode begins with Superman and the Justice League saving the world from some kind of collision with another planet. And here we see Superman, the godlike figure that saves the world from total annihilation. But that's not the point of this episode. What I love about this episode is that Clark takes Martian Manhunter home to Ma and Pa Kent for the holidays. This is a bad idea. No way was I going to leave you alone in the watchtower on Christmas Eve. Besides, Batman practically begged for monitor duty. Clark refuses to let Jean be alone for Christmas, and we get a look at Clark's life outside of Superman. How odd to hear you speak that way. I've never seen this side of you, Clark. I can just relax and be myself. Okay, everybody, I'm turning on the Christmas tree. Pa, that's my job! I love this line. It demonstrates that the writers of the show truly understand Superman. In movies like Man of Steel, Superman will often act like this cold, isolated alien who doesn't understand humanity. And I hate that. Superman may be from another planet, but Clark Kent is not an alien. He's a man who won't let his friend spend Christmas alone. His mom had to wrap his presents in lead so he wouldn't use his powers to peek at them. You mean Santa wrapped them? Superman, with all his godlike abilities still believes in Santa Claus. In my video about Spider-Man, I said that Spider-Man is an everyman. Well, Superman isn't. Superman isn't just like you and me. But Clark Kent is. Clark Kent doesn't save the world from monsters and disasters because he has to, because of some obligation for money or fame or power. He does it because Ma and Pa Kent raised him to be a good man. They raised him to help others when they need it. When I was young, I wanted to be like Superman. Now, I only hope I can be like Clark Kent. Thank you.